There are literally hundreds of ways that you could be making money with AI right now. And there's also hundreds of ways that you could be using AI inside of your business. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be speed running through a few ideas that you can go away and you can build right now for yourself, for your own business, or for someone else's business. Everything that I talk about can pretty much be built inside of the OpenAI ecosystem using GPTs and the likes of OpenAI's Vision and Whisper. My name is Liam, I run an AI automation agency where we help businesses utilize AI inside of their business every single day and we build them custom solutions just like these ones that I'm about to talk to you about. Now, some of these are pretty funny and some of these could actually be really good ideas if you took them and went and built them. Now, the best thing about AI is we now get to solve pain points that were previously ignored and there was never really a real solution that could actually help solve that pain point. So look, let's run through some of these ideas today. Leave a comment down below of your favorite one and I'll be picking one of them from the comments that gets the most amount of love and I will actually be building it live on this channel. I really want you to look at this from two perspectives. One, as someone who could potentially sell this to potential businesses, and then two, a business owner that could actually build this for themselves to run inside of their own business. So let's get started. Now, recently, I found a really rare antique in the loft of my new house. Uh, we came across it, it was hidden under the insulation, and it was this really well-decorated antique item. Now, I took a photo of that and actually pasted it into ChatGPT, and ChatGPT saw the image and tied it back to a certain date and era. Now, I know I'm not the only person in the world who's stumbled across weird and wonderful items in their house or they've dug out some hidden treasures that they had long lost forgotten about from years back when they were younger. What if we built them an antique product scanner? We could build a GPT inside of OpenAI where you can train it on historical data on different items and different eras and where different items are from and even their value as well. And you can actually build this scanner where you could upload photos of these individual antique items and you could give people a rough ballpark figure of how much they could be worth or how old it is. And ChatGPT Vision works really, really well for this kind of stuff. Maybe you're an antique dealer. Maybe you're an auction house. This is a perfect tool for you to be using and it gives you that extra edge on your competitors when it comes to being able to help people identify what they can be selling, how much they can be selling it for, and then who they should be selling it with, aka you. What if you're a body shop or a mechanic? What if you've got people calling you up every single day saying, hey look, I've scratched my car, we've got this dent, how much is it gonna cost to repair it? And you say, come down, we'll take a look, or send me some photos via email. Well, instead of that, why don't we build a GPT that is trained on your pricing list, can understand how much damage is too much damage and how much damage is repairable. And then what would happen is this app could live on your website where people would take a photo of their damage or their dented car they could send it to the GPT and the GPT will analyze it for you and give them a rough price or a rough indication of what needs to be done. This is gonna save you so much time and it could also make you way more money because you are the only person now providing this GPT that has a visual scanner for dents and scratches and gives pricing and quotes there and then on the spot. Something similar to this would be for the likes of dentists. What if I was to be able to scan a photo of my teeth or a video of my teeth and the GPT is trained on our price pricing list for veneers or our pricing list for braces and it can analyze my teeth tell me how straight they are tell me how much work I likely need and give me a rough estimate on cost of straightening those teeth now these are all solutions that can live on the business website these are solutions that you can go and build for dentists or if you own a practice yourself you could build this into your website via a chatbot. It acts as a lead magnet. And at the same time, it saves you so much time because you don't have to do manual reviews or take calls anymore from people that are trying to find out more information. This next one is probably one of my favorites. Now, I'm about to move house and there is so much stuff in my house that the thought of selling everything that I can't take with me is very, very painful. And it's gonna be a stressful few weeks. But what if there was a way that I could take a photo of something, like an old guitar, for example, it scans the internet and tells me the exact brand of guitar it is, how much it's worth on the likes of eBay or Amazon or any other reseller platform, and then it allows me to publish out to those platforms and list that item for the amount of money that it's worth. Well, we could actually build this solution with a GPT. We can get a product valuation tool where we take a photo of an item and it scans the internet to find how much something is worth. That way we don't have to trawl through eBay and trawl through Etsy or trawl through Depop trying to understand how much our old knitted jumpers are worth, okay? So we could build this solution and we could probably even tie it into different APIs like eBay or Depop or any reselling platform where we can automatically list these items once the GPT has assessed how much the item is worth 
and the condition that the item is in. This would speed up the process of me having to go through all the items and manually search in myself and could be one of the most valuable tools that eBay potentially creates or builds in the next few years. Now, did you know 10,000 people get sick every single year and over 100 people die globally from eating bad mushrooms? Now, some people, for some reason, love going out into the wilderness and picking wild mushrooms and they go home and they cook them up and then they eat them. Now the problem with this is some mushrooms are really good for us and some mushrooms aren't so good for us and are actually poisonous. Now most people I would assume that are doing this are pretty good at knowing which ones are poisonous and which ones aren't. But obviously clearly with the stats some people don't know what they're doing and it ends up killing them. So what if we used to build a GPT that's trained on all of the different types of mushrooms that are out there from scanning or taking a photo of a mushroom before we pick it. It can instantly tell us whether this is a mushroom that we can actually eat or whether this is a mushroom that we need to steer well clear of because it's actually poisonous again this is another fun gpt that could be built and could be created into some form of app for those forager lovers out there and potentially we could save hundreds of lives every single year how about an ai dietitian or food analyzer people love tracking their macros they love tracking their nutrition their calorie counters but what if there was a way where we could take a photo of the food that is on our plate and the AI is trained on a list of ingredients or a list of nutritional information that can then give us an indication of what macros we're actually taking in. Just by analyzing that photo of that plate of food, it can say, hey, look, you're eating 10 grams of protein. The amount of potatoes that you have on that plate are giving you 10 grams of carbs. We can transform the way that people are counting calories and counting their macronutrition. Now, for a personal trainer, this would be an incredibly valuable tool for them to sell to their clients. Why don't gyms offer this as part of their app where they can then help their clients find out exactly what they're eating and track their macros without having to use some dodgy internet calculators. Now, lastly, we've all been in the situation where we've been out and we've seen someone wearing something and we're like, damn, that looks cool. But what if we could take a photo of that item and put it into a GPT and say, where can I buy this item? The GPT would then scan the internet, found the exact item that we really liked, and it could send us a link to go and buy that item. Now this could be used for just yourself. Maybe you're really into fashion and you wanna go and find all of these different products online that you've seen, or maybe you own an e-commerce store and you wanna train the bot on the list of your products. So if we take Gymshark for example, maybe they've trained this GPT on their product catalog. And whenever you go to Gymshark, you open up a chat bot and you say, what is this t-shirt? I want to buy this exact t-shirt. The Gymshark catalog will then link to that t-shirt and show you exactly what it is. Amazon has something similar to this where you can take a photo of an item and it will match it to something on the Amazon store. Why aren't e-com stores utilizing this technology and building it for themselves? So guys, really quick video today of me just outlining some of the cool opportunities that OpenAI's vision actually has and some of the use cases that we could build from it. I want to hear your favorite one down in the comments down below and we'll actually go ahead, we'll build it, we'll create a tutorial live and show you exactly how it's done. If you did like this video, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.